We'll start with your recent past. So in your recent past, past, we have the Six of Cups. Now the Six of Cups is often a card about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. We all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And this card is paired with the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles can point to a time when life is feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there is always help available when we need it from forces both seen and unforeseen. You may feel alone at this time, but you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. You feel being left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you are the only one that is suffering. Realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have, but remember that the wise thing to do if one needs help is to go out and ask for it. The help you need will come. Now that was your past. And it's basically, it's, it's basically saying that remember not to spend too much time thinking about the good old days. And if you start to feel alone or left out in the cold, realize you're not alone and that most people feel that way from time to time. Okay, so let's move on to the present. Now, in the present, we start with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, the Page of Pentacles can be a card about boredom in some ways. You might be tempted to say or do things to shake things up and people up for a little bit of, of excitement. Now, what you need to do is rethink that impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Excitement can be created in general, the Page of Pentacles, it's an excellent energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. The Page can give you focus, backbone, and the, the will to stick to a task that is not necessary, that's not necessary, that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. And we have that card pa paired with the temperance. Now the temperance, although in general all of your relationships are likely to be going quite well now, you may need to look at your deeper personal issues and see if or how these things are standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. The idea now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, in your relationships, and with your goals and aspirations. And that's in your present. And it's basically, it's basically saying, out of boredom you may be looking to instigate, shake up things for excitement, but it's best to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and relationships. So we're going to move on to the challenge. Okay, and the challenge starts with the Nine of Swords. With the Nine of Swords, you will need to guard against feelings. You will need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, Take a good look at whether or not any of that is under your own power or control. And thus you could lessen it for other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If it is the latter, take a good look at 
that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. Try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. That's where the beauty is. Now this card is paired with the Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands appearing, you may feel as though you are carrying a very heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you may find that part of the burden you are carrying emotionally actually, actually belongs to someone else and not you. It will be important for you to face yourself now, so don't try to do too much. So with these two cards paired together, what you need to do is ground yourself against feelings of anxiety because you may be feeling as if you are carrying a heavy load. So pace yourself and try not to do too much. And that's going to be your challenge. Now we're going to move on to the outcome. Now the outcome starts with the emperor. Now the appearance of the emperor shows us that domination over mind over the heart is sometimes necessary even though it is not wanted. In fact, he should be welcomed and that is what you must think about when he appears. When hard choices must be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. The emperor signals, signals this, but he also signals that now is the time you should find it easier to make hard choices. Enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, then you should have little problem mastering most of the other obstacles that life throws at you. Now, this card is paired with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is one of the most, very most uplift, uplifting and encouraging cards, okay? This card means that your financial worries are over for a while and that things in general will be going better than you possibly thought. Enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. So with these two cards paired together, it's basically saying that since now is the time, you'll find it easier to make hard choices and decisions. Clarify with the Nine of Pentacles, it indicates if you look I'm sorry, it indicates if you had financial worries, they will be ending soon and things will be going better, much better than you ever thought. And that was your outcome. Okay, Cancer, thank you so much for watching and I hope it's a great month for you.